I know his gaming very close to me and I asked him if he could keep it down and he just said that's not my specialty. So. Huh, get wrecked. So get wrecked guys. This is about to go down. So every week I do a recipe that I find off the box of something in the grocery store that the brands themselves placed on the packages thinking, hey, the whole world needs to be using our product for this recipe. I mean, it's on blast. Everyone has agreed. This is the recipe that needs to happen. Today's recipe was recommended by Betty Boop 9124 Andrea, I can't wait to try it. Thank you for sending it to me. Uh, and thank you for being a long time watcher and commenter on Twitter, on Instagram, at Bet, uh, Betty Boop 9124 actually sent this to me on Instagram. So um, I'm excited to try it. I can hear your crunching from here. Okay, the recipe we're trying today is actually from a Golden Grains egg noodle package and I couldn't find the golden grains package but I was so enamored by the idea of this recipe it's a cheeseburger skillet it's it's like the people of golden grains uh were like we know this is a pasta that doesn't mean we don't like burgers what about the people the what about the members of the family who wanted a cheeseburger night and the members of the family who wanted a pasta night Marry the two together. You can't go wrong. Everyone will be buying our pasta just for this recipe. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna try out the uh, hamburger pasta. Sorry, it's called a cheeseburger noodle skillet. I mean the rings one. You get it. Sorry. Now since I couldn't find the golden grains noodles, uh, I don't know if they're in, I, like I went to Fred Meyer, I went to Safeway, I went to Walmart. I ended up just buying regular egg noodles at Walmart. They don't have a recipe on the back of them, so I feel fine using these. Sorry, golden grains. They don't care. First things first, we're gonna brown our beef. Now we need to add the tomatoes. Hi, Miley. Hi. Those are going in. Add two and a half cups of water, which I've already pre-measured. Also important to stay hydrated. Pour that in there. Looks fab. It smells like beef. It smells like Kainoa. I smell like beef. That's like his go-to line. Smells like beef. <laughs> I don't know where he got it, like some video or something, but um, that's what we get to hear. It's his, it's his fallback. Oh, I know the code. One liner. Uh, okay, then we add mustard. This is the part where they're calling it a cheeseburger because there's mustard. It's kind of gross. And salt and pepper. Miley, have you ever heard of the band know. Salt and Peppa? Salt and Peppa's here now. We're in the house. Put push it real good. Your shotgun bang. What's up with that thing? Do you know that song? Look at that mustard just waiting to be mixed. You. Let's make it hotter. It doesn't even mix in. It just so chunks up. All right, it's simmering. Let's put, wait, how much noodles? Now it's going to cook for nine minutes. Pretty good at this. I should start a show. I want to keep the mess in the pot, my own. <laughs> Looking gorge. Those, those noodles really noodled up right away. Okay, I think our noodles are nice and soft. We're gonna add in our cubed cheese that Miley so kindly chalked up for us. They call it liquid gold. They don't even call it cheese. Cheese product. Whoa, wait a second. This, this box is hiding multiple recipes. We could make a bacon cheeseburger roll up, cheesy spinach and bacon dip, cheesy chicken rotini, cheesy bacon brunch casserole, down home, macaroni and cheese. What a treasure trove of recipes we've stumbled upon with this box. Maybe with our leftover Velveeta, we can make one of these. Miley, isn't that exciting? I guess the tomatoes are supposed to be like acting as the ketchup, but I just feel that's unfair. Ketchup is ketchup. I'm one of those people that puts it that on everything. Sick. Maybe I could just drizzle ketchup over the top, really make it cheeseburgery. Okay. I feel like I'm just trying to shout over Switch, him. <laughs> You guys are gonna get a really obnoxious. Well, the one top is quite loud. 
I didn't realize what a noise factor it would bring to my video. Yeah. Pop with your favorite burger fixin'. It's a really Onions, one. mushrooms, hot sauce, bacon, or avocados. Okay, let's try it how it is right now, and then we'll make it more like a burger. But it looks, it looks like hamburger helper. It looks delish. I mean, if you like hamburger helper, which I, I don't ever make it, but I like it. It was a big bite. It's good. Uh, it's very good. It's very creamy. It's very cheesy. Um, there's burger. I can't even taste the tomato. If I were to try this blindfolded, would I be yelling cheeseburger? No, I'd be yelling mac and cheese with beef chili mac, but it's good. Should we add some toppings? I feel like we should. Okay, on my on my cheeseburgers, I usually put sal uh, lettuce, ketchup, mustard, uh, pickles, and that's all I have right now. I don't have onions. I don't have avocados, so Let's add that to our cheeseburger skillet and see if, if it tastes good like a true cheeseburger. Okay, that does taste like a cheeseburger. And I love every bit of it. That's actually really, really wonderful. I like it. She likes it. Golden cream. How did you know? This is exactly what I needed in my life today on this snowy snow day, snowed inside. Without all of the cheeseburger toppings, it's it's like a decent, you know, like I said, it's like a hamburger helper, like love lovely. Basket meaty pasta meal. But with the fixins on top, it does taste like a cheeseburger. I get it. And I like it. And I'm gonna recommend it. Either way, you can go with it. I know it's a little creepy adding all of these on top of a pasta. But I'm dedicated and I'm here for it. And I'm glad that I did it. It's so good. Next time you pick up a package of Golden Grains pasta, check out that recipe on the back and give it a try. Who knows? Maybe you'll find a new Th that the cheeseburger skillet is exactly what oh, your family you has been waiting for. And have a good weekend. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Pretty good. <gasps> You're only eating the noodle. Noodle's pretty good. Basically, mac and cheese. She likes it.